RapMaster's application steps and procedures for installing the WeldWrap composite system. The RapMaster Corporation recommends the application of the WeldWrap pipe reinforcement system to be made only by certified WeldWrap installers. Step 1. Access the defect and determine the number of WeldWrap kits required to complete the pipe repair. The WeldWrap sleeves are available in two standard widths, 12 and 18 inches. The weld wrap sleeve must extend a minimum of one and a half inches beyond the edges of the defect. Step 2. Check kit items and tools. Use the following checklist to ensure all kit items and tools are accounted for prior to initiating the repair. Step 3. Preparing the pipe surface before installation. The pipe should be grit blasted to a NACE 3 or SA two and a half. The key is to provide an anchor pattern three to five inches beyond the width of the sleeve. Step four, measure the weld wrap. Although the weld wrap sleeve is typically 12 to 18 inches wide, measure the actual width for repair area marking preparations. Step five, mark the wrap width area. Center the measured weld wrap width from the girth weld and mark reference points. Step 6. Marking the repair area. Dry apply two wraps of the weld wrap sleeve around the repair area. The weld wrap sleeve edges should be centered in relation to the girth weld zone. Using a marker, trace the sides of the composite sleeve. Prior to removing the entire sleeve, position and mark the leading edges of the sleeve. Step 7. Attaching the guide blocks. Remove the backing from the guide blocks. Attach guide blocks equally spaced along the edge reference lines using three blocks per side. Step 8. Apply the anchor pads. Remove the backing from one side of the anchor pad. Then center between the girth weld and the weld wrap side reference line. Attach the anchor pad to the pipe using the leading edge reference line. Secure the anchor pad by pressing down firmly with the plastic putty knife. Repeat the same step for opposing side. For optimal attachment of the anchor pad, the pipe must be dry and clean. Step 9. Mixing the filler putty and adhesive. Mixing of the filler putty and the adhesive should occur simultaneously. When mixing the putty, a mixing surface and a putty knife will be required. The filler putty materials are prepackaged in plastic pouches. Use the plastic putty knife to mix the filler putty. To properly mix the adhesive material, the following tools will be required. A jiffy mixer, a low-speed drill, a red plastic paint can scraper. Most of these tools are provided inside the accessory kit. The adhesive is provided in pre-portioned quantities with the quantity dependent on the size of the sleeve to be installed. Using the mix charts located in the adhesive container, add the activator quantity to the adhesive according to the highest temperature to be encountered, ambient versus pipe temperature. Once the correct quantity of activator has been added to the adhesive, mix the material using the Jiffy mixer and a low-speed drill for approximately two to three minutes. At this point, you will need to scrape the inside of the adhesive container with the plastic paint can scraper to ensure the activator is mixed thoroughly with the adhesive. Then, continue mixing for another one to two minutes. Step 10. Applying the filler putty. Apply the filler putty in slight excess to the following required areas. The leading edge of the anchor pad. The defect area along the girth weld, and all tented areas, such as long seam welds. This will ensure a load transfer path to the weld wrap sleeve. Use the putty knife to remove the excess material and smooth the putty to the original pipe configuration, making sure the putty is pressed into any voids. Step 11. Applying the adhesive to the pipe. Pour the adhesive into the paint tray and begin to apply adhesive with the paint roller using only downward strokes. Apply in slight excess the adhesive to the entire pipe surface spanning both sleeve width marks. 
Do not remove the backing from the anchor pad prior to or during the adhesive application. Step 12. Remove pad backing. Remove the backing from the anchor pad and inspect the leading edge of the sleeve to ensure it is clean and ready to apply. Step 13. How to attach the sleeve to the pipe. Using the guide blocks and the anchor pad as a reference, attach the leading edge of the first half of the weld wrap to the anchor pad. Then firmly secure the weld wrap to the anchor pad by tapping the sleeve with the rubber mallet. Repeat step 13 for the other half. Ensure the leading edges of both segments are aligned with each other. Step 14. Apply the adhesive and filler putty to the inner wraps and weld area. After securing the weld wrap sleeve, begin applying adhesive to the segmented layers with the paint roller provided. After wrapping the two segmented layers of the weld wrap sleeve, apply additional filler putty to ensure the girth weld zone cavity is completely filled. Step 15. Wrapping the sleeve around the pipe. Continue applying adhesive to the sleeve while wrapping the sleeve around the pipe. Proceed as required until the stop reference line is visible. Apply adhesive 1 to 2 inches beyond the stop reference line. Step 16. Tightening the sleeve. Remove the backing from the Velcro pad and attach it to the sleeve. Position the pad in the center of the sleeve and in the best position for engaging the adjustable torque bar assembly. Attach the torque bar strap to the Velcro pad and lightly tap it with a rubber mallet. Position the torque bar and then apply steady pressure to the torque bar for two minutes while striking the sleeve with the rubber mallet until the excess material, adhesive and putty, begin to exude from the edges. While maintaining pressure with the torque bar and after the excess adhesive and filler putty has been exuded, Tightly apply two to three wraps of securing tape approximately one inch from the sleeve edges. Should the sleeve spin during the tightening process, remove it immediately from the pipe and discard. Step 17. Sealing the sleeve edges. To protect the repair from moisture, seal both edges of the sleeve and the trailing edge of the sleeve with adhesive. This provides a transition taper on the side edges for the pipe coating. Allow the adhesive to cure approximately two hours, then apply a pipe coating and backfill.